Hello, welcome. Today we have an intense 15 minute leg burning workout. It's gonna be high intensity and we have 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We'll be doing each exercise two times and then we'll burn out at the end with about a minute and a half of glute bridges. So if you need to warm up at all, go ahead and pause the video and do that now. If not, I'm gonna need the timer started and meet me on the floor. So let's start by sitting down on the mat. And we'll take some B sits here. So I want you to focus on engaging your abs and then also engaging your legs and bringing in a full range of motion. We want to warm up and wake up our whole legs, right? Especially the hip flexors. They're so important in helping us. So let's go ahead and start out nice and easy. We have five seconds to here to go. You can get that full range of motion and rest for 10. When we start moving our body, our body knows that we're about to start exercising, so it prepares us by intensifying our breathing. Let's go ahead and take some more V-sits here. And it starts sending the blood to your muscles to help oxygen, oxygenate them. <laughs> So this is us telling our body, hey, it's time to move because we have a lot of jumping in the next 10, 15 minutes. So give me about six more seconds here. Good, one more. And we will stand up now. So this is where we're gonna spend the rest of our time in, in the standing position on the mat. So go ahead, find your balance on one foot and we'll take lateral raises to the front and back. So I'm drawing a little semicircle, a little parabola, if you will, on the side of our body here. So keep your core nice and strong here. You can have a slight hinge at the hip with your spine nice and tall and straight, slight bend in that knee stabilizing, squeezing your glute. Give me one more. Good, and then we'll switch to the other side, so shake it out if you need to. Take a nice big deep breath. Find your balance on your opposite foot, and let's go ahead and warm up in the standing position. Finding our balance, too. This is the only warm-up exercise we have, and then we get right into jumping. All right. Your 10 seconds here, keep moving. See if you can take it a little bit higher and squeeze the glutes. Keep your core nice and strong. Three seconds. Good. Let's start on the right side of your mat. And we're gonna take a lunge to the side, hop twice, and then lunge to the other side. If the hop is too much, you can modify it by just lunging side to side. So this is where our heart rate starts to come up. This is a cardiovascular workout as well. So you're gonna keep feeling the burn in your legs and hopefully by the end of this class you're gonna be absolutely looked. Give me one more. Good. <laughs> we got 10 seconds, rest, and then we're gonna take that one more time and see if you can take it a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. Here we go. And you're using your legs and your core 
to move your whole body. This is a really advanced exercise. Last one. It's so good for training you to do those agility like movements. All right, let's go right back into it. You can challenge yourself to see how far can you take the jumps. Can you travel a little bit farther? Can you jump a little bit higher? Can you sit lower in your squat? We want your legs to feel the burn. So 10 more seconds of these. You're doing so well. One more. Good. Okay. Our next exercise, we have a little bit of deadlift motion, the pulse. So we'll tap down, come up, and switch back to the other hand. So you're still jumping. You're still getting that heart rate up. But this time, we're getting more into the back of our legs and our hamstrings. Keep breathing deeply, imagining sending oxygen to your legs. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Rest, deep breath. Your heart rate should be way up. It should feel so good. Let's do it again. Tap and hop. Just like this. Remember that you are hanging out of your hips. Not arching through your spine. Keep on doing this. No. We're stable. We're strong. We're hinging at the hips. Protecting our neck by keeping our gaze in front of us. You've got it. Feel the back of the legs activate. Good. Smile. We have half raises with the jump neck. So we'll do a regular calf raise, and then we'll jump. Calf raise, jump. So I like to swing my arms behind me with the jump. You're keeping your feet hip distance apart, and you're pushing the motion out of your toes. You'll start feeling this in your calves first, and then that intensity will work its way up through the back of your legs, through your hamstrings, through your glutes, Last one. Here we go. And rest. Just 10 seconds of rest. Pause if you need to. If you need to modify, it's completely okay. Let's do it again. Taking those calf raise jumps. You feel nice and strong. Your core is strong, your upper body is strong, your legs are strong. Make sure you're Form is still good. Your knees are in alignment with your toes. You have five seconds on the clock. Can you give me a few more? Last one. Higher. Good. Breathe. And then we'll go into lunge jumps. Just starting on one side. So find that lunge position. And we'll jump. Again, if this is too advanced for you, just take that your lunges. Take it to the depth that you can take it at to push yourself but not hurt yourself. Hinge forward slightly at the hips, keeping your spine nice and straight. Can you get a little bit higher off the mat? You got three seconds. Two, one, and up. Shake it out and we'll go. Right into that other side. Keep your heart rate up. Keep smiling, keep feeling good. Here we go. Find that form that feels good and push out of your toes. Keep your knees in alignment with your toes. You're over halfway there. Do not stop. Keep going, no matter which variation you're taking. Keep going. You have three, two, one, and up. Good. Next, we have two sets of high knees. So let's go right into it. 
We can take it down here. We can work push yourself. Bring them up higher and lean back. You know the drill. Keep your core nice and strong. Maybe one, two. You can challenge yourself by tapping your knees to your hands. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Regulate your breath. Envision yourself getting stronger. Rest. Can you see yourself as living in the end, as being the person you want to be, as having the body you want to have, as feeling as good as you want to feel? What does it feel like to be that person right here, right now? If you were that person that you dreamed of being, how hard would you go with exercise? What would you do after this class? What would you do with all of this energy that you're cultivating in your body? Give me three, two, one, rest. Okay, we have one more high intensity exercise. Your favorite burpees. So, we'll come down into the plank position. Come up, and then I want to see you take a little jump squat there. Remember, this is about working our lower body. Can you go a little bit faster? You still want to keep your upper body nice and strong, pushing out of the wrists and shoulders. Higher, jump higher. Go faster. You have three seconds. It's your last one. Good job. You're doing so well. We only have one more set of burpees, and then we have our pull down exercise. So let's keep going. Out, in, jump. Give it your all. This feels so good. Your legs are on fire. Your heart is pounding. You're sweating. You feel incredible. You're over halfway there. Higher, faster. Last one. Good job. Take a couple deep breaths. We'll take it down to the mat. Into our glute bridges. So let's raise those hips up to the sky. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart and you are pushing your glutes to the sky, leading with your tailbone. So your lower back is not arched. Your core is still strong. Your belly button is still pulling towards your spine. You are supporting yourself. Keep going. From your shoulder blades and the heels of your feet. Here we go. We still have the time we're going. Well, like I said, we're gonna work through a whole set of this. If you need to take a break, go ahead. You should still feel the burn in your quads as well. They are doing a little bit of work here, but really squeeze those glutes. Good job. So we have a minute and 20 left on the clock. If you want to challenge yourself, you can alternate doing this one foot at a time, sending one foot into the air like this. Or you can challenge yourself to go up on your toes. Really forcing those glute muscles to work. So we're still moving the body, but we're not doing all of that deep cardio work. So we're giving it our heart rate a chance to slow down before we cool down. You always want to give your body those transition periods. So whenever you're doing a YouTube video like this, if you need to pause, do it. Listen to your body. Can you give me 25 more seconds here? You keep squeezing. I'm going to bring my heels down. Can you bring your hips a little bit higher for these last 15? 
You are so strong. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Last one. Let's come down. And that concludes our workout. Let's go ahead and take a quick stretch. Placing ourselves in figure four position. Right knee over or right ankle over left knee. Pull that left knee in towards your chest. For just a few seconds here. See what feels good for you. Good. Let's switch sides. Stretch out our other glutes, pulling our right knee into our chest. Deep breaths. I can feel the sweat and it feels so good. Let's come up and just for a moment stretch forward into height stretch. Stretching out the back of our legs, our calves, and our hamstrings that we work so hard today. Good. One more deep breath here. And now let's stand up. Good. If you need to hold on to something, you can. We'll take a little quad stretch. So grab onto your toes. Stand up nice and tall and bring those toes in towards your glutes. Stretch out those quads, they worked hard. Stretching is going to help with your recovery. Just a little bit can make a huge difference. Let's take it to the other side. Good. I think I sweat my makeup off onto my yoga mat. This is how you know you worked. A little bit closer to your glutes. Good. Shake out. Do whatever you need to stretch out your body. Take a nice big deep breath with me. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment to let you know what you thought. And I will see you guys for our next workout. Bye, guys.